Yo guys, Cody the Viander 2009 here. Uh, today this is a tutorial, this is an updated tutorial of how to get Rapper Offline working in 2023, late 2023 actually. I literally just woke up, so, and I have school, so I'm making this early as possible because I really don't feel like making it in six hours from now because I have freaking school at nine. Today is an updated tutorial, and this is actually a much easier way. It's only one link down. As you can see, on Rapper Offline 2.0.0 tutorial, you had to download custom assets. Well, Rapper Offline 3.0 has built in custom assets. Built in custom assets on it. I just moved my mic up. But yeah, I'm going to be starting out again. I'm once again using a virtual machine because I already installed this on my main computer. So, yeah. So, we're gonna, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and download node.js. This is always the first thing. So hit go to site if you get that message. Then, once again, this will not work on Mac. This will not work on Mac or Linux or Chrome OS. This is only Windows. This is a Windows. You could do this on... Windows 7 is... I'm pretty sure will not work with this, so... It's it's Windows... Windows 8... Windows 8, 8.1, 8 10, or 11. So there you go, Node.js. We're going to be setting Node.js up. Alright, so you're, once you download the setup, you're going to hit, you want to double click. That says, welcome to the node.js setup wizard. You're going to hit the next button. And you're going to hit, I accept the terms in the license agreement. Even though you don't exactly have to read it. And then, I don't recommend changing this, that's fine enough. And hit next, and then next, and then install. And hit yes if it runs for administrator. It should run for administrator, or it probably will not work. Alright, it is complete. There you go. Alright, now I re recommend keeping your... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm still a little sick right now. I recommend keeping your install uh, installation files in here, just in case you lose it. Alright, we're going to go next, download our next thing. Next, we need to install Flash 18. This is an old version of Flash. Then, once again, if you get this message, just hit go to site. Then you're going to hit... Some people will get that message, some of you won't. So now you're going to... Still loading. Now, this is install Flash Player. Then you're going to hit the download button. This is a Google Drive link. I'll give it a second right now. My internet's being a, an actor upper right now. My Wi-Fi's slow, so just give it a minute. There you go. Or and you're going to want to hit the download anyway button. My internet's really slow, I apologize. I have slow Wi-Fi this morning. The, the morning is the, is the part where my Wi-Fi is the slowest. All right. Now once it downloads, you're going to want to hit keep if it says that. Then drag your desktop. Alright, right. now you're going to double click the flash installation. And if it wants, and it should run as administrator. If it doesn't, then it probably won't work. But hit yes on administrator. All right, and then you're gonna want to. I have read and agree to the terms, and hit install. Apparently installing. All right. So now you're gonna now you're gonna want to hit never check for updates because Flash is unsupported. But this is the old version that still works. So hit done, and there you go. Now you've installed Flash. Once again, I recommend keeping the installation just in case Flash, your antivirus could update Flash. For example, PCmatic does. I don't think Windows antivirus does though. Alright, next you want to go download WinRAR because this is how you're going to extract your wrapper offline. Once again, if you get this message, you go to site. Then you're going to hit down, download WinRAR. And then you got to go and then just download the free trial. Right, there you go, then hit keep if it says that, if it says it's dangerous. Alright, should be good now. Alright, now, now we're going to be setting up WinRAR. Let's double click, and hit yes. Yes, you have to install WinRAR, by the way. I mean, you can also use other extracting programs, like 7-Zip, but WinRAR is the best extraction program for me. It's my favorite one. But I, I recommend using WinRAR, it works a lot better. Alright, so you're going to hit install. Alright, then I recommend just checking the following ones. I recommend having ISO, R A R J, I mean ISO 
Seven Z Zipper. I recommend having those checked and everything else unchecked. Then hit OK. Then hit Done. There you go. You've gotten WinRAR. Once again, we're gonna save that installation. So we need. It. I made. The, I I made another Windows 10 computer just for these tutorials. To wrap off the line. All right. Now we can go to our next one, which obviously the part we've been all waiting to download. Wrapper Offline 3.0. This is an update from the last tutorial, which I'm going to outdate the last tutorial because the other tutorial is outdated. It's five, almost five months old. It, it takes you to a mega link. You're going to want to hit the download button. Cre credit to uh, Young Dirt. Credit to uh, Young Anders' uh, video or for the, to, for the creation of this Wrapper Offline. Which it's a very also Voice Forge voices and Ivana voices work on this wrapper offline, which is pretty insane. Ivana and Voice Forge voices work, and this is a very strong builder wrapper, and it's not localhost like the last one. It does not run localhost. Just like 2.0.0. This is my main wrapper offline now on my main computer. I'm using a virtual machine because I don't want to install it again because I already have everything, so I need to make a full tutorial. So I I got a vir I installed a virtual machine for the tutorial. <coughs> right, should almost be done. I'll just give it a minute if it gets stuck. All right, there you go. Now it's downloading. There you go. All right. Now you can just hit your download there and drag to your desktop, and it will extract to your desktop. There you go. Alright, and it is done. Wrapper Offline Remastered Version 3. It's also known as Wrapper Offline 3.0. So now, you can. Oh, there's already custom assets built into this Wrapper Offline, by the way, guys. So I can we're gonna go ahead and rename it Wrapper Offline Version 3.0. There we go. I don't know. If you did everything correctly, it should work. There's already custom assets built, built into it. Alright, then you're gonna then once you get this message you're gonna hit allow access and there you go. There's also a very beautiful theme to it as well, but it works very well. I know a lot of these wrappers with colorful veins don't work. I promise this one is probably the best version of wrapper in the world. As you can see, you just downloaded wrapper offline. Uh I could show you how to in in, in the next tutorial, which I'm on on the twentieth, on October twentieth, I'm gonna be making a tutorial of how to transfer your transfer uh uh, data from another wrapper offline to another wrapper offline. From a wrapper offline to another wrapper offline. I'll be making a tutorial in four days. And I'll show you how to do it. I'm not going to do it in this tutorial because I do not have 2.0. But no, as this is a different a different virtual machine from the last computer. Yeah, I can go create a character. And I can show you proof that the VoiceForge voices and Ivana voices work. So let's go make a character right away. There we go. If you did this all correctly, you should get the character creator screen. We're just going to do this guy. Then hit, you have all the other options to make a character. Then hit save. Once you once you're done with that character, I'm just doing a test character. Because this is I I know I don't use this computer. This this computer is only for tutorials. This virtual machine is for my uh, wrapper offline tutorials. I'm hoping the next version will be released. Uh, remastered 4.0 will probably be out next year, so I'll make another tutorial on that. Alright, let's get our character, and I can show you that it works. This is a test with a voice for voice. You can go, uh, like example, Kid Kidaro. This is a test with a voice for voice. As you can see, the voice for voice is working. This is a test with a voice for voice. Sorry about that, guys. So here's your voice for voice, and you can try another one. Like, wise guy. This is a test with a voice for voice. And there you go. And we'll save that one. This is a test with a voice for voice. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna stick with Kadaro. We're gonna do Kadaro. This is a test with a voice for voice. There you go. And then we'll do Ivana, because Ivana also works.
This is a test with a polybarn voice. Alright, let's go. We're gonna go Eric on this one. This is a test with um, I've own a voice. Check that out. This is a test with um, I've own a voice. Here we go. I can do our classic fade out effect on this. <clears throat> this is a better version, so I do recommend upgrading from 2.0.0. On October 20th and four days from now, I'll make a separate tutorial of how to transfer your data from Rapper Offline 2.0.0 to Rapper Offline 3.0. Test vid. There. We save that. And test our video out. Let's check it out. This is a test with a voice versus voice. So you can also this see is a test with a live own a voice. See the video? And you also can't get full screen to work, and I know how to fix that issue. So, to fix this issue, we're going to fix this issue right now on the full screen so you can use OBS. Alright, let's fix our full screen issue. So, you want to go to resources on your wrapper offline version 3.0. I want to go app. I think you need to go wrapper and then controllers. Then you need to, you want to right click app, hit open with. You want to go more apps and click notepad. Then hit always use this app open.js files. As you can see, don't get too confused here, just follow my directions correctly. So you'll scroll all the way to the bottom. Then where it says allow script access, you're going to go there, then hit enter, then space all the way until you match the, that line up with the A. Then you're going to hit, now you want to type allow it do it exactly the way I do it. allow full screen then do the colon then you're gonna wanna do true and then do apostrophe and there you go now your app, now your full screen should work your full screen should work now so now you're gonna wanna hit the X button and hit save <coughs> alright now we can go back to wrap our five 3.0 and your full screen should work the full screen should work if you did that right. It ain't too hard. There you go. Your full this screen is a works. test with a voice versus voice. This is a test with a live own a voice. You see, the full screen works. There you go. I say I did. This is a test with a voice versus voice. This is a test with a live own a voice. It's pretty good. A lot of voices work. This is a better version of Rapper. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I have just showed you how to install Rapper Offline 3.0 with Working Voice Forge and Ivana Voices. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you boys in the next video. You should probably restart your computer just to make sure everything's good. But yeah, you probably you can restart your computer. This is just a virtual machine. This, I'm not going to be using this to actually do my videos because I already have Rapper Offline 3.0.0 over here. I already have it. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys.